Hey everyone, I'm Marabosi. Welcome back to another episode of Civilization 5 Death It Wins with Kool-18. Hey, you folks. And I think I already regret declaring this war <laughs> when I saw how many units he has. I see 10 fighters, 3 battleships that I can't do anything about. And I'm about to have a bad time, I think. And that's I might just steal that oil and sign a peace treaty once I can. Oh, but with your great we'll general, see. yeah. That yeah, would yeah, actually yeah. be pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you can probably just turtle to a win. Yeah, probably. So that's what I'll try doing. But mm -hmm. it will take at least a few turns before he's going to talk about white peace. Yeah, of course. At least I'm not at war with city-states. Well, just one, but I don't think it will attack me directly. It's a little bit too far away. Yep, I'm losing like one unit per turn right now. <laughs> because of these fighters and battleships. I already lost two out of three artillery units. Oh my god, that's brutal. Yep. No, that's too much bad. range bombardment. Yeah. There's just too much crap around here. Hmm. Well, at least I can kill some of his units. <laughs> but that's not going to help a whole lot. Yeah, I can, I can, I just sold some stuff. I could send you maybe about 500 bucks in a sec here. Actually, He's actually sending a settler to my territory. What? That is, that's just rude. Are you even serious right that, now? That's just an insult is what that is. I'm not sure if you can see Antiquity side to the southeast of London. There's a yep. settler right on top of it. <laughs> like, so, seriously? <laughs> if I sent you $700, uh, would it help you buy a unit that would be relevant here? And, uh, I'm about to finish another artillery. Okay. And I upgraded most of my Gatling guns to machine guns. He won't win a land war, but he might kill some units simply because he has so many triplanes. I'll shoot down a few with my entire aircraft guns, but they will destroy my units before I can do that. At least I'm about to finish Neuschwanstein, so that's that. That is really good. That's a lot of extra culture, a lot of extra happiness. Yep. I've been at negative one happiness for a long time, and I can't do mm -hmm. anything about it. And it's driving me bonkers, because that is so yeah. much science lost. Yeah. Then it slows know. down your city grow. And you yeah. lose even more science because your cities aren't growing. Unless there was another happiness building I could build. But... So I just lost my last artillery unit, and he's actually going to break through this stupid citadel. <laughs> my citadel, that is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I lost infantry, right. I still have one more artillery, but I'll probably lose it on the next turn. Oh, we need to renew our silk for cotton deal. There you go. Wow, he's actually sending my set his settler through my territory. That settler is walking right past London right now. That that is pretty ballsy. What the heck? Yeah, that's just BM. <laughs> that's why I call him Ram Control Face. That's just rude. Come on. It pretty much is. I can't believe this guy. I get a pretty. Oh, here we go. Keep a trade route going to you. And do that. How's the uh, one turn away from rigging elections? Annoyed though, my uh, coup chance in Bratislava dropped from 18% to zero. I was hoping with rigging the election, that, which is going to go in one turn, that I'd be able to boost it up to an acceptable percentage, but yeah. I don't think so. Maybe I'll throw a bribe at them in a sec and see if that changes anything. Although they're cultured, I don't even really need their culture stuff. I was just hoping to get their oil. Oh, maybe I should just bribe someone else. I'm about to lose a great general. Oh no. Yeah, so much for that plan. Oh, no, I didn't. I derped a bit and moved my unit, but didn't move the great general that was on top of it. Tyre just joined the war against you. Yeah. He bribed Tyre from Germany. Napoleon wants me to declare war on Bismarck. I know, me too. Uh, Napoleon is friendly, Bismarck is not, even though that Bismarck is order. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I think I'm going to have to say yes here just to encourage Napoleon to go into the war. I don't think Bismarck can do anything to me. And I've done this about, like, 300 times so far in this game, so... Yeah. Sure, let's get this started. What city-state? Oh, Zanzibar. Mm -hmm. Alright, I can almost sink his battleship with my machine guns. Yay! But this one citadel that I built in the early game is what stands between London and his army right now. <laughs> 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 so that's pretty bad. Uh, we can vote to embargo France or embargo the Ottomans. Probably the Ottomans. Uh, yeah, because they already hate me. And, I mean, they're both pretty dangerous. Yeah. And Babylon wants us to embargo the Ottomans, so I may as well vote f with them. I don't know what Ramcam Trollface has against France, though. No idea. <laughs> I'm voting for the same, then. It would not surprise me if they both passed. Because Ram has a lot of votes. Yeah, that's very likely. And that would probably be good. He has so many city-states. I actually have a good land trade route um, to Istanbul, so it'll kind of suck to lose that. And might encourage him to declare war on me, which should certainly be bad, but... Oh, I At least Tyre doesn't yet. have a lot of units left. So it won't matter a whole lot that he bribed that city-state. But this will take quite a few turns before I can get white peace. Once I get white peace with him, I don't think I'm going to attack him anymore. I can't even get to that oil next to his city. Too many units blocking the way. Oh, you can't steal with your great general? Yeah, no, I can't. No. I would have to grind through all of the units that are standing in the way. Everything's been embargoed. Huh. Yep. I guess that's good for us. That will slow down the AI. Yeah, it's definitely Okay, I, I can kind of hold now. Although I stopped I, losing units. All the friendly trade routes that were coming to me are gone. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it might encourage more to come this way. Give me your ivory. Oh my god, you'll trade ivory for cotton. <gasps> Napoleon, I love you. Well, we've had pretty good relations this entire game, so I guess that counts for something. Oh, I can't send a trader out to Mogadishu or to Zanzibar anymore because we're at war. Oh. I'm going to try to at least take this troll city. Maybe it will work. I could perhaps see it working. I just sunk one of his battleships, the one that was defending that city. If I can get a few artillery units, that will maybe happen. That has a lot of defense, 126 shields. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like but I the wonder... city to the south has even more, 135. <laughs> so there's that. His cities are really well fortified. But that city has oil, the troll city. Yeah, so, no, if you can take that, that would be so good. I mean, if I knew this location will have oil, I would have settled the city there myself on like 10 100. Sure. But there was no way for me to know that. If I don't take that city, I can steal that oil with the great general. That's actually better oil deposit than the one to the south, that 7 oil. I didn't check that one before. So, okay, I can at least get oil out of this war. And I can get a landmark out of this war as well. This city was so good. If I knew it would have a landmark and oil... Oh, you can peace out against Tyr if they're still at war with you. Because mm -hmm. it fled back to Germany. And if I didn't know better, then I would almost suspect AI of knowing this in advance. Yeah. But I know for a fact that they don't know this in advance. They used to know this in vanilla. 
and they settled some really strange cities because of that. Because they knew there are strategic resources somewhere. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case anymore. Okay, let's start bombarding that city then. <laughs> hmm, I need vision of that city. Okay, I think I can do it. I just need a few more artillery units. Okay. That's good. I hope so. And I can defend this location to the south without too many problems, mostly thanks to my citadel. Alright, I will get two artillery units in four turns. Oh, Kaisel is gonna fall. Potentially. Oh yeah, it probably will. Well, maybe not. Yeah, we'll see. He we doesn't have, have a lot of units left around there. I have no idea what he's doing with his army. Which worries me a little bit. Uh, did you still need coal? Because our deal there just ended. Uh, no. I don't think so. I have factories everywhere. Okay. Yep, I do. Oh, some city fell. Whoa, the Ottomans declared war on you. Oh, what? Interesting. They must have been bribed, because there's no way they would care Yeah, enough. Yeah, he was bribed. From the other side of the map. <laughs> well, I'm not worried about them. I'm gonna try to build Big Ben. Oh yeah, that was available for a very long time now. Yeah, we'll see. Might still not be possible, but I'm gonna give it a try. Right, so the biggest problem with this city right now is that he has a battleship inside, so he can attack my artillery when he's bombarding the city. And that's extremely annoying. So I can't do damage to that city safely. Because of that battleship. Mm -hmm. I hate when that happens. But I will get three more artillery units in three turns, so that's a total of four. Oh wow, Hopefully. you're building them en masse everywhere? Yep, in every single city. Well, except Venice. Venice is still building a research lab. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. And I'll have to get started on Apollo program in seven turns. Yeah, I lost here. my machine gun pretty much instantly when I moved into range of that city. Or was it a different one? Well, I lost one machine gun anyway. And that was a plus one range machine gun, unfortunately. He still won't talk, but I don't think I want to talk anymore. <laughs> I want to take that city now. Not settling that location was the one biggest mistake I made in this game, but yeah, I... Well... There was no way for me to know that it will be this good. I was gonna say, that's, yeah, exactly. In hindsight, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and you still have a problem with oil, so yeah. Oh yeah. Can you even get oil, like, somehow? Again... With a citadel, with anything? I don't uh, think you can. No. Uh, if I declared war on Bratislava, even if I didn't take it, then I could put a citadel in their territory that would steal mm. me oil. Hey, by the way, Dortmund Actually, was just nuked. No. Yep. It was nuked. <laughs> I mean, I knew a bunch of people had uh, the Apollo Pro... Or, sorry, Manhattan Project, <laughs> but I'm not used to seeing the AI nuke yeah. at all. I mean, It was nuked, nuked by you, Germany. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. Well, all right then. We've got ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm glad Germany is using nukes. That's great for us. <laughs> as long as they don't turn it to us. Yeah. 
the one positive about my location now is that no one can threaten me with nukes other than RAM control face. I'm closing the gap a little bit. Germany is 6% ahead of me in literacy. Plus 12 happiness, finally. Well, Germany's keeping pretty busy. You actually have more happiness than me now. Well, I have 11. I finally got my second tenant. So mm -hmm. that makes a big difference. And now I can stop kind of stagnating all my cities. Yeah. Okay, my artillery will be ready on the next turn. I hope that will make all the difference that I need. The nice thing is I have three railroad tiles that I can bombard that city from. So I can actually move in and attack on the same turn. Which, considering there's a battleship inside, is actually helpful. Oh, yeah. Because I can attack before he gets before a chance gets to attack me. Yeah, that makes a big difference. But 126 combat strength. That's still going to take a while to burn down to zero. I like that. The city's growing again. Oh my god, Istanbul just got nuked. Oh wow. <laughs> Germany is on the rampage. Uh, maybe I should stay friends with Germany. I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, although I say that as I'm at war with them. You probably should. Listen, Germany, I take it back, man. <laughs> Peace? Wow, two nukes in two turns. I'm really surprised that they actually use nukes because in my games, what usually happens is that AI only starts using nukes after I use them. Yeah. I rarely see them use nukes first. I don't know what would have convinced them to do that, but color me impressed. Uh, may as well do the trader at the Mogadishu for the relationship boost. Even though I don't really need the maritime one, but still a nice thing. Mm, there's a uh, world leader election coming up. Oh yeah, but eh, no one is going to win that anytime soon. Hmm. Okay, I need to get vision of that city, but I can't. Not on this turn, at least. Looks like I'll have to wait. If it wasn't for that battleship, that city would be so easy to take. It's mostly that battleship that's messing everything up. For me. And they're really powerful, so... Yeah. Understandable. I can get my own battleship, but I'm not close enough to actually attack that city with it. Unless I move all the way around the continent, but I don't want to lose my only ship. If he has submarines or things like that, which he might. If he has battleships, I think it's reasonable to assume that 
he might also have battleship. Uh, I mean, submarines. Sure, that makes sense. Hmm. Think of war. We could do something like that. He still didn't upgrade his cannons, though, which is really weird. He's still using cannons as opposed to artillery. But Not that I'm artillery. complaining about that. <laughs> does he know artillery? Does he have the tech for it? He must. I think he does. Yeah, must he have must dynamite. have the tech I for mean, it. come yeah, on. Yeah. He should start talking soon, but now I want to take that city before I sign White Peace. What's our timer at? Uh, 21. Okay. I forgot to set mine this time, so just felt like it was taking a while. At least our happiness has been fine. Mm -hmm. uh, France is still at war. Ottomans obviously are at war. England, Germany, right. Arabia, France. Germany's at war with everyone. Or... Maybe that's why they started using nukes. Maybe. I just hope they don't that nuke me. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not a threat. Don't do it. I mean, you don't have the same ideology, so... There's that. Eight turns before I can negotiate. Okay, I'm doing decent damage to that city now, but... I'm still worried about that battleship. I don't see a battleship inside the city anymore. Oh yeah, I see that it's taking some damage now. Yeah. I hope it's going to be enough. Because he's about to break through my citadel to the south of London. I only have three units down there defending the area. Oh, uh, Venice bought Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, I saw. If you did go to war with them, you could steal that oil, I suppose. Probably not worth it, though, because I'm using Venice for my trade routes right now. Yeah. Which I kind of need. Okay, he's not coming back with that battleship, so I guess this is my chance. I hope this is going to work. You can do it. I have faith. Oh, the Ottomans denounced me. Come on. This one citadel is doing so much damage to his units. If I didn't make that citadel in the early game, he would probably be attacking London now. Yeah, it's funny how those little things pile up. Yeah. Well, the city is down to yellow now. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to take it, unless some kind of major disaster happens. Which, hopefully, it won't. Yeah, I don't think Germany was able to do anything post-nuke. The cities mm -hmm. are all recovering, which is, like, yeah. kind of a waste of a nuke, but I don't know. Well, not necessarily, because it reduced the population a lot. Yep, and it leaves all the fallout behind. Especially in Istanbul. I'm not sure what population Istanbul had, but it's down to 17 now. Yeah, I think it was at 30... Mm. Something like that. I think it reduced it in half. I think that's what it normally does. Reduce yeah, it in yeah. half, damages units... So, I think it's, so, I bounced back a unit. Like, it might have been at 32 and dropped down to 16 or something mm -hmm. like that. So, that will slow them down, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. But Germany is still the tech leader. They are doing really well in this game. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, they're getting so beat up. What are they building their city? Oh, they're building a new atomic bomb. That's good. Yeah, but Germany is probably going to be our main competitor for the spaceship. Probably. We we'll have to nuke them. That's the solution. <laughs> when in yeah. doubt, nukes. I don't think I want to nuke Germany, considering what they have been doing. Well, you know they have nukes, so you're probably going to get hit back. Oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, Babylon. Settled new city. Mari. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, I see it. What? <laughs> That's exactly. an interesting city. Uh, it's not strictly bad if they start working the fish, for mm -hmm. example. They can at least yeah. grow. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, you could have prevented them from doing that. Yeah. But if you I... had one of these tiles. The hill or the grassland. Mm hmm Since you can't start a city directly adjacent to a border. But I just didn't see that coming. Mm. I mean, it's not oh, really yeah, a big I, deal. I, I wouldn't see that coming either. Okay, I think I've solved my happiness problems for now. Plus 21. Very nice. Now I can you actually build a focus. a bunch of stadiums or, or what? Uh, I took another tenant, level 2, from happiness from public schools, observatories. Mm hmm I normally don't take that, but I'm a little bit too paranoid. You take that the instead time. of the factory one, or do you already have the factory one? Uh, yeah, I had the factory one. I okay. took it instead of five-year plan, basically. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. But yeah, I would lose more hurt. production if I dropped into the negatives. Do you still have a revolutionary wave? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, okay. Yep, getting I don't. minus 24 from that. Mm-hmm. You're civil resistance, uh, and you've been there for a long time, too. Yeah, so if I drop into a revolutionary wave, I would lose probably around 10 happiness, mm -hmm. if so not more than okay. that. It's not good, but you'd still be okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling uh, too. Anyway, now I think it's the time to make a cut. Sounds good to me. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. See you next time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Did you know I read every single comment someone leaves on my video? That's insane. Why would I do that? I don't know, but I'll read yours.